Hello, beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing well on this beautiful day. At least it's nice here. <laughs> um, anyways, I am long overdue for debt free um update. I've been slacking y'all. <laughs> I always say that. And you're like, dang, Jasmine, get on it. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm supposed to do one at least once a month. I think I've been doing one at least once a month. I'm not really sure, have I? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm about to go ahead and show you guys a clip of, you know, what's going on, where I'm at right now I'm on my debt-free journey as far as paying off my credit cards or any type of loans or anything that I may have. That way, only thing I will have remaining is, of course, my house and my car and them student loans, okay? But other than that, that would be the only thing I will have. The next thing I would tackle would be my car and my home. Um, those would be the next two things that I tackle. Some more positive news. I did see this quick video the other day from Dave, um, Dave Ramsey, and he was speaking to somebody asked a question, you know, if I have 0% interest, should I focus on paying that particular card off first? Um, well, it was a car for them. Um, but anyways, it was 0% interest or do I still focus on paying the smallest balance? And Dave was like, it doesn't matter what the interest is. It's like, you know, focus on the smallest balance. So I'm like, okay, Dave, say no more. I know you said that in the, <laughs> in the course, but Jasmine wanted to do it Jasmine way. And I have found that it, it doesn't, I, I get why you want to, and with the sm snowball method, you want to focus on the smallest balance first because it actually is more rewarding because it's like you see the progress. I mean, progress is happening either way, but I feel like with doing the smallest balance first, it's like, I don't know, it seems like you see it more, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not sure if it's really technically happening faster, but I feel like when I was focusing in on the smallest balance, I was knocking it out, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm just like, oh, it's up between these two balances. And it's just like, okay, this ain't, this ain't working for me. So I am going back to the original thing and I'm going to pay just the minimal payment on the largest amount and put the rest of the money towards the smallest amount. Being that my smallest amount is like $1,700 or $1,750, something of that nature, um, it's going to be included in the next clip. So I feel like with $1,700, I'm just going to say $1,700 for the sake of it or whatever. I feel like I can, you know, easily knock that out, especially with, you know, trying to work a little bit more um, or like... I am not gonna sound like I'm selling anything because I'm probably not. But just cutting back and working a little bit more to go ahead and knock that out. I probably can possibly knock that out within two months or so. Um, then that way, I, now I will have nothing but that one big balance. Um, the reason why I didn't wanna do that before, I didn't do it before is because oh, that interest started to kick in at the beginning of the year and I really didn't wanna pay that interest on that amount. But I would deal with that at the end of the year and not focus on it right now. Right now, I'm just going to focus on that smallest ba balance, knock that out. And then before the interest kick in, I'm going to figure something out. Like, I'm sorry. I know Dave may not approve, but I, re I refuse to pay. I don't even know what my interest is on that card, but I refuse to pay like 17% interest on the amount because it'll probably be down to maybe 4000 or something dollars. Or maybe, I don't know, I'm just assuming maybe four or three something. I'm not paying no 17% interest on that amount. I'm just not. I would, I'm not gonna lie to you. I would go out here and do a balance transfer before I pay in that much interest. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest with you guys because that's what I do. I'm honest with mine. Um, if you into finance and you just think that's a horrible ideal and you have a better suggestion for me, please feel free to do so. Um, yeah, the biggest thing that, um, I have faced is the fact that one of the biggest things that Dave preaches is pretty much 
you living off of rice and beans. He, you know, he want you to like live a life where you just out here just working and you sold everything you didn't own and you don't need and you just sacrificing, you know, to pay off this debt. And I, yeah, if you go back to the beginning, I, I just don't know if I'm comfortable to live that life right now. Um, only because I feel like tomorrow's not promised. So I'm out here living a life of just, just, just paying these debt, <laughs> these bills. You know what I'm saying? And then I, who said, who's the say I'm going to live to see 50? They are pretty God that I do, but who, who's to say that, they, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just saying, I want to be able to enjoy life now too, okay? While keeping in mind that I do want to be financially free, so I don't want to owe anybody anything, okay? No, I'm not. Okay, anyways, wrap this up. Stay tuned, I'm about to show y'all what I owe. And before I do so, you already know, thumbs up. Comment below, let me know if you have any questions, any um, advice, anything like that. Let me know. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Support your girl. Okay. Till next time, y'all. Peace, love, and blessings. Oh, 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 oh,